Today, we're continuing my video series where I explore the new and exciting features of Betaflight 4.5. And in this video, we're gonna be looking at a feature that a lot of people don't even use. And one feature that I have specifically told people not to use because it makes bad habits and makes you a worse pilot. But Betaflight 4.5 has changed everything. And maybe that means it's actually useful now? I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. Oop superhero pose. I don't know, I guess I'm just feeling really... <sighs> yeah. It doesn't... It doesn't work. <laughs> the two features that we're looking at in this video are angle mode and horizon mode. Now, I have never discouraged people from using angle mode. Angle mode has its place, especially when beginners are first learning to fly. It can be really helpful, especially if you're transitioning from a drone like a DJI drone. Angle mode sort of more closely approximates what you're used to. And the throttle control that you learn in angle mode directly translates to flying in acro mode, which is where most beta flight pilots are gonna end up eventually. But horizon mode, I have discouraged people from learning. Uh, and in order to make that make sense, I think the right way to do it is, let's demonstrate the way that angle mode and horizon mode used to work, and then we'll demonstrate how Betaflight 4.5 has changed them. Let's start with angle mode. So when we're flying in acro mode, the deflection of the stick relates to the speed of rotation. And I've actually put my stick overlay on screen so you can kind of see what my sticks are doing. So if I go all the way to the right with my roll stick, I will rotate at a certain speed as determined by my rates. But when I go into angle mode, the quad will now associate a certain tilt angle with the deflection of the stick, and it will try to go to that angle. So if I go all the way to the right, it will roll to the side and stay at a given angle as determined by my stick deflection. If we look here in the Betaflight 4.5 release notes, uh, linked in the video description below, of course, we can see here are the changes to angle mode and horizon mode. And one of the changes that's been made in Betaflight 4.5 is that angle mode is a lot snappier due to angle feed forward. So there's two parts of the angle mode equation. One is what angle should the quadcopter be at according to my stick deflection? And one is how does the flight controller cause the quadcopter to stay at that angle? Uh, and that is based on the PID loop. And both of those things have been changed in Betaflight 4.5. The first thing Betaflight 4.5 did is change the PID loop in angle mode so that there is now a feed forward term. Uh, it used to be that the PID loop for angle mode was only P-term based. And what that meant was that if you wanted really sharp angle mode flight, if you wanted it to just snap to the angle, mostly for people who race in angle mode, tiny whoop racers mostly, if you wanted it to really sharply snap to the angle and feel really sharp and precise, you had to jack that P-gain up. And here in the Betaflight PID tuning tab is where you would have done that. Under PID tuning, angle, angle strength. This 50 value here, this is a P-term multiplier, similar to what we've got up here in the PID gains, uh, but these are for uh, acro mode and this is for angle mode. The problem with that is that when you push P-term really high, you can get oscillations. So if you had cranked that angle strength to a level where you got really sharp stick response, but then you made really sudden abrupt stick moves, the quad might go whoop, 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 and that isn't good. The addition of a feed forward term on angle. Well, without diving into the depths of what feed forward is and what a PID loop is, this isn't the video to do that. If you actually want to learn more about the depths of the PID loop, I'll put a link in the video description to not my video, but Chris Rosser's video about the PID loop. It's fantastic. But this short version is that the addition of a feed forward term gives sharper stick response in acro mode without the, having to jack the strength up to the point where you get P-term oscillations. The other change that's been made in angle mode is that now your rate curve applies in angle mode. 
You see, it used to be that angle mode was simply a linear translation of stick deflection to quadcopter angle. So if the quadcopter's maximum angle here, the angle limit term, if that was set to 60 degrees, then at zero stick deflection, the quad would be flat and level, and at full stick deflection, the quad would be 60 degrees tilted over, and that would be a strictly linear translation. But some people want to have expo. They want to have a curve on their angle mode. So at the center stick, you can have not too much uh, deflection, not too much abruptness. And then as you go to full stick, it gets sharper. And I've got to tell you, I'm not sure that I appreciate this change. Because like, it feels like I am having to deflect the sticks a lot. Do you see that in my stick overlay, it shows me it's going nearly to full stick deflection. I'm not really there. The stick overlay doesn't have a ton of resolution, but like I'm at maybe 60, 75% stick deflection and I've barely tilted over. It feels like this is way lower rates than I would really like. But then when I go to full stick, oh my God, now we're just freaking trucking. There's this giant, dip at the end, this giant spike at the end of my stick travel where the quad just goes ah, off, the, off the wall. So I've got to say, I actually am not a fan of this new Betaflight change. It's good to give the user the option to have a curve on their angle mode. A lot of people would like to have a little bit of expo on their angle mode, but it's not safe to assume that the same curve that works for acro is going to be identical and work great for angle. The right way to handle this, I suppose, would be for Betaflight to give users a separate set of rates one for angle and one for acro mode so that you could t fine tune those curves to be exactly how you want them. And, oh good, we got GPS lock. As far as I can tell, there's no way to turn this off or to change this unless, unless you were to set up dual rates with an in-flight adjustment to switch the rates when you go into angle mode, you could totally do that. I'm not gonna do that in this video. I have a separate video showing you how to set up dual rates on a switch, and what you would basically do is set up those dual rates and then have different curves, one for, yes, that's the right way to do it. Maybe that'll be a separate video. The final change to angle mode is that it is now earth referenced by default. And here's what that means. Before Betaflight 4.5, if you were pitched forward, and you input yaw, the quadcopter would kind of yaw like this, but it would not actually put in any roll. And that would result in a kind of a slidey turn, and most pilots would then put roll in by themselves to sort of lean into the turn and swoosh through it. Now, angle mode does that for you automatically, except it doesn't because you have to turn that on, and I'm gonna show you how, and try it out. So in order to enable this new behavior, we're gonna use the set angle earth ref parameter in the CLI. We'll go to the CLI and type get, let's try earth. There we go, angle earth ref. The value is allowed from zero to 100. Let's just set it to 100. Let's hit tab key to autocomplete equals 100. That's full strength and save and, and let's give it a try. I gotta say this may take me a minute to get used to. I am so used to putting in roll when I turn, but what I should be able to do, oh, it's not perfect. Let's test it out. I can already tell it's not quite perfect, but if I go straight forward and turn with roll, no, it's, it's not really different at all. What's going on? Why did it not? It's not putting in any roll. Did I enable it? I mean it, no, it's not putting in roll. It should be, we should see it putting in roll. Hey there guys, it's Joshua from the future. I've just gotten an answer back from Chris Rosser and it turns out that it is working as expected. It just didn't work like I thought it would. It's not gonna cause the quadcopter to roll into the turn. It's just gonna cause the quadcopter to roll flat. Uh, instead of sort of wobbling and rolling out of the turn. So I guess that's okay, but I guess I was hoping you could just steer with the yaw stick and that's not what this feature is. Next, we're gonna take a look at a feature of Betaflight that I have said is so bad that the Betaflight devs should just get rid of it, but they say they've redeemed it. 
We're gonna find out if that's true. But before we do that, can I take a second to remind you that the single best way for you to support the work that I put into this channel is to join my Patreon. Patreon is a website where you can subscribe to me for as little as $2 a month or more if you feel like I've earned it. Think about the amount of value that you get from my content, entertainment, Problem solved, stuff I've taught you, products I've helped you buy or maybe not buy because they would have sucked and you would have wasted your money. Think about the amount of value you get from the videos that you watch and if that's worth at least $2 to get, head on down to the link in the video description below. I'd love to have you as a supporter. You'll get access to my Discord server, which is patron exclusive, so you know the people there are people of taste. <laughs> But mostly, I hope what you get is the good feeling of supporting work that you enjoy, that you benefit from, and making it possible for me to keep doing this. Link's in the video description below if today's the day. And if today's not the day, as I like to say, I'll keep making the content, you keep watching the content, maybe that day will come. Let's move on and talk about Horizon Mode. And in the past, I have discouraged people from using Horizon Mode, saying it makes bad habits and makes worse pilots. Here's why I've said that. Well, first of all, what is Horizon Mode? I'd like to demonstrate it for you, but in order to do that, I'd have to flash back to Betaflight 4.4 to demonstrate the old way it worked, and I don't feel like doing that, so I'm just gonna explain it. The way Horizon Mode works is that when the stick is near center stick, it acts like it's in angle mode. And then at a certain point on stick deflection, say half stick, say three quarter stick, say you, do, you configure it, the transition point is user configurable. After you deflect past that point, the quad enters acro mode. And what that means is basically you can fly with the stick a near center stick and be in angle mode, but then if you go all the way over to full stick, you can do flips and rolls. And that's what people think horizon mode is. It's angle mode, but you can do flips and rolls so it's like an easier way for a beginner to learn to do acro. And it does deliver on that, but here's why it makes bad habits. Let's say that you are in angle mode, you're near center stick, you're going through a swooping turn, and you tighten up that turn. Let's say you're doing like a decreasing radius spiral. As you continue to deflect the stick and tighten up that turn, there will come a point where you cross that threshold. And suddenly, instead of being in angle mode, now the quad is in acro mode. And what it does is it's swooshing through the turn and then suddenly zoom, it's turning into the turn. It's trying to do a flip or roll. And that transition point is, well, it's not that it's not predictable, although sometimes it's not predictable, but it's that it's dictated by the maneuver you're trying to do. There is, for every horizon mode configuration, a certain radius of turn that you cannot make smoothly. Because as you try to make that radius and turn, you'll be transitioning back and forth between angle and acro mode, and you just can't do it. So I've always said, if you wanna do flips and rolls, learn to fly acro. And if you wanna fly in angle mode, that's fine, but fly purely in angle mode, don't take the worst of both worlds, horizon mode. Let's take a look at what the Betaflight devs have done to change and potentially improve this. But instead of providing self-leveling anytime the sticks are centered, it will only provide self-leveling when the sticks are centered and the quad is close to being flat. So in old style horizon mode, if you went to full stick deflection and started an acro roll, and then when the quad was upside down, you recentered the stick, it would flip back upright again. But in new style horizon mode, it will not flip back upright if the stick is heavily deflected or if the quad is far off level. And theoretically, this is gonna make it a little more like pure acro and a little more predictable? I don't know. The only thing to do is try it out. If I take off and I just fly with the sticks less than 75%, I should just be in angle mode. But if I go up in the air and I go to full deflection, I can do a flip or roll. But the question is, what happens when I recenter the stick and like I'm upside down? Only one way to find out. It's holding on. Ooh, that was interesting. That was interesting. Angle mode. Ah, uh, I saw it start to, oh, that's really interesting. So it's not recentering itself immediately. Hang on, let me get a little more height. Oh, do you see how it slowly came back to center? It's not fighting as much when I recenter the stick. Now it's gonna hold it, oh God, I gotta turn it back right upright. So it seems like up to about 180 degrees, it recenters itself, but 
gradually, so it's not like blah, 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 fighting me on the sticks, but it will kind of try to save me if I get myself in trouble. But if I go fully upside down, oh, that's, that's interesting. So then what happens if I try and do like a decreasing radius turn? We'll do it up in the sky. I'm gonna just do a tighter and tighter decreasing radius turn. Well, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell because I kind of already know how to fly acro mode, but I didn't notice any sudden surprise where it like just immediately like started falling into the turn. Now we're in acro, but it just kind of comes out of it pretty gracefully. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. Okay, Beta Flight devs, I think you're onto something here. We're flying acro mode. We flip upside down. Cool, we can just stay upside down. And oh, it did that itself. It did that itself. Okay, so I can kind of start to see where you might object. Like if I wanted to do a dive, I'm gonna do like this and I'm gonna do a dive. Oh, nope, you can't dive. I'm gonna level you back out again. No, I want to do a dive. Okay, as long as you're upside down, I'm fine with it. But now, as soon as you cross that 180 degrees, I'm going to level you out again. But, like, the answer to that is just fly in acro mode, noob, right? Like, you can't have it all. Like, I thought about doing a power loop there, and I realized that, like, I don't know. Oh, no, I can do a power loop very carefully. Like, the transition point... Oh, it can tell. It's not just the stick deflection, but also the angle of the quad. As I get, no, I have to give it a little more push to get it over the hump. See, it was just, if I deflect the stick just a little bit, it just leans back and stays in angle mode and doesn't finish the rotation. See, it'll, it'll stay here forever, but if I pitch back just a little more, it'll let me do the power loop but then it'll help save me at the end. Okay, this is, I think horizon mode is no longer completely useless and building bad habits. If I do a sharp turn, what happens? No, see, I can do a sharp turn now and it doesn't surprise me. It's not fighting me. I mean, we got some bobbles because we are in angle mode, but like if I try and do a sharp turn, it just does it. Well, that's probably fully angle mode, to be honest with you. Sharper turn. See, I could feel it go into acro mode and my brain was able to transition, but it was smooth. It was smooth and it didn't fight me and I'm able to work with it. Like I can do a split S in angle mode. Oh, no, it rolled out. Oh, that's fascinating. Like I tried to split S and it was like, nah, I'm gonna turn you over. Interesting. Maybe it's not as predictable as I thought. No, give me a split S, you SOB. Okay, there it is. No, no, no. Oh. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Like if I over rotate slightly, it rolls me out of it. No, no, no. What's happening? Oof. Wow. I think Horizon Mode might have redeemed itself. I think it might have a use now. Like. He's still not gonna be able to do full acro, but it, I don't feel like this is creating the same kind of bad habits and limiting the maneuvers you can do in the same way that old Horizon Mode did. And it's fully configurable. Oh yeah, if you go to this URL, which I'll put in the video description below, you can find some setup snippets to change the behavior of the new Horizon Mode uh, depending on what you want from it as a pilot. And there's several parameters you can tweak if you really want to get into it uh, and make it behave exactly how you want it to behave. If you want to learn more about the new features in Betaflight 4.5, check out this playlist, card on screen and link in the video description below, which contains my Betaflight 4.5 overview of new features, how to upgrade to Betaflight 4.5, and videos like this one on each of the new interesting features. I actually have, uh, this is the second one, and I've done another one on GPS rescue, which is significantly improved. If you want to go straight to that video, there's a card right here and a link in the video description below. I'll see you there.